how do you pamper your car i wash the car every week i polish it whenever possible i got a set of new alloy wheels for it recently and how can i miss this i got a ceramic coating done in spite of the car being 3 year old that's how much i love my car mm mm-hmm. nice that's interesting but uh, what about wheel balancing and wheel alignment wheel balancing and alignment i am not really sure when was the last time i got it done you see wheel balancing and wheel alignment are very important in a car it's not just they help you have a great driving experience at that moment they help you increase the mileage they help in the longevity of your tires and what not but before that what is wheel balancing what is wheel alignment why are they important and what role does the right equipment play in this part to find these answers we decided to visit madhu's garage equipment corporate office and training center in bangalore without a second thought madhu's is the authorized importer and distributor of hunter engineering company's products in india hunter manufactures the world's best wheel alignment and wheel balancing equipment along with some other products more importantly we are going to understand the importance of using the right equipment from hunter engineering company and the significant role road force balancing plays into this picture wait a second doesn't all this look complex that's what we are here for to simplify this by the end of this video you will understand what a simple process this is and by the way what better car than the skoda octavia vrs for this demonstration but why is wheel balancing necessary just like the dreaded corona virus the need for balancing could be symptomatic or asymptomatic sorry for the analogy but you get the point here consider yourself fortunate if you observe these anomalies in the early stages some of the common symptoms are number 1 uneven wear on the threads of the tire for example these are the threads and some threads will have even wear and some threads will have uneven wear number 2 the car could experience vibrations at high speed number 3 there could be a problem in the fuel consumption or the efficiency last there could be issues with the suspension of the car and that's the reason balancing of wheels is really really crucial but before we get into it let me show you how does an unbalanced wheel look like with a small demonstration consider this to be the axle of your car this is the wheel and tire assembly and this is an imbalanced wheel right now as you can see there are two weights here one on this side one on this side but on this side there just one weight with an absence of weight in this side as you can see my entire arm is moving that is because of the imbalance of wheel but to solve this out we are going to add an additional weight here so once you add an additional weight here what happens is both the sides of the wheel is completely balanced and look at the difference now there's absolutely no movement of my arm at all it's 100% still that's how a well balanced wheel looks like wait a second how is it performed generally what happens is the imbalanced wheel is placed on the balancer in an enclosure preferably and then it is rotated at a prescribed speed now what happens is the computerized machine or rather the computer it analyzes how much of imbalanceness is there in this particular wheel and based on that it suggests the weight that needs to be added now this weight is nothing but the small clip ons which needs to be added on either side of the wheel when it is being balanced as simple as that but there is a big big drawback here in these traditional machines imagine you are practicing rifle shooting on dummies no matter how accurate you are in your shooting there's something missing that is the real world scenario it's very much different from you know targeting a real enemy and shooting at the enemy let's apply the same concept here the biggest drawbacks of these machines are they are not considering the road force into account by road force i mean that they are not considering the amount of force exerted by the road on which the tire is being driven that's where road force balancing comes into picture a very very crucial and important element say hello to the road force elite the world's fastest diagnostic wheel balancer the speciality is it also considers the force exerted by the road on the tire like we discussed earlier not just that it's also capable of monitoring the pulling and vibrations of your car so we have with us mr nikhil 
who is the pioneer in road force balancing in India, who is going to give us a quick tour of this superb machine. Hello Nikhil, Hi, let's start yeah. off with it. Thank you Zahur for this opportunity. Uh, the Road Force Elite, uh, while it does a lot of uh, important things and it's actually very simple to use, the user interface is also extremely easy. Once we mount the wheel and tyre assembly on the shaft, the first thing we have to do is to inflate the tyre to our required uh, pressure. And once the pressure has been set of the particular tyre, all we have to do is just close the hood. Once we close the hood, the equipment first measures the imbalance of the tyre and now it tells us that there is a 10 gram difference in the balance of the tire you know what recently i was traveling and i guess the speed was somewhere around 80 to 100 km per hour and i noticed this weird vibrations from the car what exactly was responsible for it so that is due to the phenomenon called road force variation let's consider this example assume that this is a tire and assume that it is compressible with some material, something like springs. So there's a possibility that this particular portion could be stiffer than the rest of the tire. And using the brilliant technology of the Hunter Engineering Road Force machine, what we do is we do something called as force matching. Basically, the stiffest part of the tire is matched with the weakest part of the rim so that the force is constant and the vibrations are reduced. It also has a roller which applies a weight on the tyre and it is measuring the radial force variation of the tyre and it is also measuring the lateral pull of the tyres. So now in this particular case the machine has alerted me the operator that there is an excessive road force that has been detected in this particular tyre and wheel assembly and what we can see is that the current road force variation is 125 newtons but it also gives us a very good solution to reduce that road force variation down to 35 newtons by following a procedure called force matching. So during force matching, what we need to do is we identify the hard point on the tire and the lowest spot on the rim runout. And we take a piece of a chalk or we take a marker and we mark the hard point of the tire. And then we mark the low spot on the rim and we then take this tire to a tire changer, we deflate the tire and we align both these marks. Once we align both these marks, we will find that the road force variation will reduce from 125 newtons to 35 newtons. And the limit that we normally keep for all passenger car vehicles is about 90 newtons. So 35 newtons is well within the tolerance and that should give you a very smooth ride at any highway speed. The bigger concern was, last month I was on a road trip to Goa. Yeah, not all Goa plans get cancelled. But uh, what happened is, we were on the way, somewhere 300, 400 kilometers into the road trip. And I noticed that the car was pulling to the left. And this indication was there from some time ago, but it was more evident on the highway in this particular road trip. And of course, I got panicked, went to the nearest uh, ABC wheel alignment shop there. Boy, I had a very bad time, spent four to five hours. They were swapping all the tires one after the other. They told go take a test drive, come back. We took a second test drive, came back and this kept on happening. And this was a big hindrance on a road trip and such a pain, you know, wasting time into all this. I really wish that you had come across the Hunter Engineering's Road Force wheel balancing machine. That's because with this machine, you don't have to waste time trying different permutations and combination of tires. The machine itself will tell you the best combination for the least pull. Basically, what the machine does is, it will tell the four position of tires. For example, this is one, tire number one, tire number three, tire number four, tire number two. The machine tells that with this combination, you are going to get the least amount of pull either to the left or the right. This is one of the most modern solutions. The second most important feature or the second most useful uh, part of the road force balancing is that it measures any pulling problems that are related to the tires itself. So after we do the wheel balancing for four tires on a vehicle, it will then tell us which tire has to be placed where on the car to ensure minimum tire pull. Now in most cases, we may end up having a small amount of tire pull which is usually not felt by the driver. So once we finish all the four wheels balancing, we can click on this button and this will show us the current position of the tires and it will tell us how the car will behave at different positions of the tires. 
For example, if you look at this screen right now, it tells us that if we were to put tyre number 3 and 4 at the front of the vehicle, there will be a slight pull of 25 newtons to the right. If we were to put tyre number 1 and 3 in the front, as you can see, the tyre pull increases to 40 newtons. What happens if we were to put tyre number 2 and 3 in the front? Again, you see the behaviour of the vehicle changes. And again, if I put 2 and 4 in the front, you see this is one of the worst. It goes 90 newtons to the left. So in this kind of configuration, we don't have to do any trial and error. We can use the features of the equipment and the software to figure out the best possible setting for this particular set of four tires. The first thing we do is we just touch the button that says show least pull and this instantly shows us that by putting tire number four and one in the front of the vehicle, we have the least amount of pull that is possible given the set of four tires. This eliminates a lot of trial and error done by the technicians where the car is parked, they physically remove the tires, they swap the tires left to right or front to back, go on a test drive, come back, make a second trial and error to check. All of that is eliminated with this because we are able to do that in a matter of seconds. So this Road Force Elite makes sure that all the wheel and tire related vibration and pulling problems are resolved in one single shot. If the equipment has such extreme capabilities, pretty sure many of the leading automotive manufacturers might have them in their workshop, right? Of course, from Mercedes to Porsche, Kia to Nissan, everyone approves of this dynamic world-class wheel balancing machine. The easiest way to find out a shop with road force balancer is by going to www.hunterindia.com and click on the equipment locator and filter for all road force balancing equipment in India. What is wheel alignment? As the name suggests, probably adjustment of wheels or tires. Wheel alignment refers to adjusting the car's suspension in order to vary the angles of tires in the way they make the contact with the road. I mean, I understand all that. I get those fancy terminologies, modern technology and all those things, but how on earth are you supposed to know that your car is in need of alignment? Number one, if you notice that the car is pulling to one side or the other side. Number two, if there are vibrations exhibited from the steering wheel. Number three, if there is uneven wear on the thread of the tire. How do we achieve the perfect alignment? There are three important aspects to take care of. One is the camber angle. Second is the toe angle and the third, the derivative of these two is the caster angle. The camber angle is perfectly visible when viewed from the front of the car. The camber angle could be positive or negative. A negative camber angle improves the cornering of the car. Toe angle, the most sensitive of the three angles. Toe alignment is the extent to which your tires turn inward or outward when viewed from above. So this is the traditional wheel alignment adapter which is used in most of the wheel alignment shops in India. The biggest downsides are is first of all it's heavy and more importantly this causes scratches on the alloy wheels of the car as this comes in direct contact with the metal part of the alloy wheel which isn't really appreciable. So those are the problems of the past because we have with us the amazing robust Hunter Hawkeye Elite wheel alignment machine which is enabled with four cameras for high degree precision measurements and not just that this is the new adapter the big advantages are first of all it's very light and more importantly it does not cause any scratches on the alloy wheels of the car because there is some safety bandwidth that is kept here as you can see this does not cause any scratches on the alloy wheels of the car which is a very very important thing so the bigger question is what if there's a rare supercar like say for example mclaren 720s that's come for alignment and what if the technician isn't aware of the alignment specifications of that particular car absolutely no problem because the hunter hawkeye allied is equipped with something called as win align software it's a very interesting software because it has databases of all the cars say from maruti 800 to ferrari 488 pista 
with every alignment specifications of those cars which are manufactured in the last 40 years. So as soon as all the four quick grip adapters are mounted on the respective wheels of the car, you can see that once the car starts moving, the camera senses the movement of the car and then that particular moment is reflected here in this screen. So the system has already calculated the camber and toe angle. But right now, we need to measure one of the important things called as the caster angle. So basically, these are the readings after the wheel alignment. And as we can see, there are some readings which need a fix. But for example, what if I am a technician who does not know how to fix this? For me, example, what if it's a car that I'm catering to for the first time? No problem. All I have to do is go here and say illustrate adjustments and based on that it's going to tell me what are the adjustments that I need to do onto the car for it to change from red to green that is from the danger zone to the optimum zone a very very interesting uh, concept indeed I think it's one of a kind and really really deserves a massive appreciation because it's practically not possible to train all the technicians for every single car that is on sale in India because there would be instances when uh, that particular technician gets a car which is say 20, 25 years old and he or she would have never seen it and that's where this software is going to be very very helpful because there are some cars for which there is also a video demonstration of what has to be done to fix it. That's incredible. I think it was a very interesting class indeed. After a long time, I've enjoyed being in a classroom. I really appreciate uh, the fact that I got to learn so much from this, especially about the benefits of wheel alignment and wheel balancing and more importantly, using the right equipment like the Hunter Engineering with the robust machines like the Road Force Balancing and of course the Hawkeye Allied. I'm really, really looking forward to more such exciting videos in this classroom and I hope to come back to this classroom soon. And, and, and more importantly, please do not forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram for more such content.